Vini, Vidi, Vici. We came, we saw, we conquered. At this time last year, I finally understood what this meant. I was traipsing through Europe, working in the European Parliament during the week, and exploring a new city every weekend. I could hardly recognize myself. I lived and worked in Brussels, Belgium for four months. I haven't been the same since I came back to the States. Deciding to study abroad in the first place was a no-brainer. I'd been planning my study abroad for years before I was even in college. When I finally got to Belgium after years of dreaming, it was nothing like I ever could have expected. Although I had traveled internationally before, I wasn't prepared. The culture shock, the uncomfortable feeling of not speaking the native language, and the homesickness caught me off guard. I was an American, and it felt blaringly obvious. In some situations, like working in the press room, it felt like an advantage, and I was proud. In others, I wanted to hide and keep my mouth shut so those around me wouldn't hear my English spoken in an American accent. No one had warned me that it would be hard. And I know why. It's because the good vastly outweighed the bad. The bad hardly even faced me. I came to know Brussels as a second home, and a piece of my heart still lives there, and always will. I discovered a new confidence within myself that I had never seen. I had the courage to interview politicians about European politics on camera. I memorized public transportation maps in foreign languages. I wound my way through cobblestone streets from airports to hostels to attractions and back again. I gave snails and goose liver a try. I drank more beer than I care to admit. I spent a night in the Berlin airport sleeping across three plastic chairs. I watched terrorists attack my home and saw the city band together. I might not have left a mark on Europe, but Europe left a mark on me. I became stronger, I grew, and I left with more confidence than ever before. I came, I saw, I conquered. This, I believe.